right, welcome back. So, this particular module uh, like I said in the last module if you have seen the uh, inverting non inverting amplifier and then voltage follower input output voltage ranges this particular module is focused on uh, uh, important function of an operational amplifier and that is summing. So, uh, like I said operational right there are several operations can be performed by by this operational amplifier that is your op amp right. You can you can use this op amp to do addition, you can use this op amp to do subtraction, you can use this op amp to integrate. So, integrator you can use this op amp to differentiate differentiator that means it can perform a mathematical functions right and that is why it is operational amplifier. So, uh, we have seen this again uh, in the theory, uh, but let us quickly recall what exactly summing amplifier is and how we can uh, perform an experiment using a summing amplifier right. So, uh, let us go on the screen let us see uh, what is the summing amplifier. Uh, so, if you see this particular circuit right uh, the circuit it is if I remove this thing which I remove only one uh, if I just keep one signal which is here. And if I remove this thing what will be it? It will be an inverting amplifier right. The inverting amplifier is so I, I do not consider this thing right. If I do not consider this then what will I have? I have input and I have feedback register R in R f. So, V out would be V o will be minus R f upon R 1 into V in. This is the formula for your inverting amplifier correct. Now, if I give inputs like this right and if I use Kirchhoff current law right all of you should learn what is what is Kirchhoff voltage law what is Kirchhoff current law right. So, it is easy when I use this terminology Kirchhoff current law all right I have told you the same thing in theory class also that you do learn Kirchhoff current law and Kirchhoff voltage law. So, you if we I apply this Kirchhoff current law or KCL what we will get we will get I 1 plus I 2 plus I 3 here minus I 4 minus 0 equals to 0 correct. If, if you see this I 1 plus I 2 plus I 3 minus I 4 minus 0 equals to 0. So, output voltage right I is what I equals to. So, we, we know right V equals to I R. So, what will be I I equals to V by R right. We all know Ohm's law right our favorite. So, it will be very few people who will say I do not know Ohm's law. So, using the Ohm's law what we have instead of I 1 we can write V 1 by R 1 you see the first term V 1 by R 1 I 2 V 2 by I 2 I 3 V 3 by R 3 right. So, output voltage if I if I convert like this we will have V o equals to minus R f V 1 by R 1 R V 1 V 2 by R 2 V 3 by R 3 and the addition of this. This we have already seen in the summer amplifier or summing amplifier right or it is also called summer hmm? in short form it is called summer. So, uh, an operation amplifier circuit which is shown here right it produces uh, an output proportional to the sum of input voltages uh, an application of inverting amplifier right inverting we have already seen op, op amp input is the summing junction right this is the input terminal right summing junction useful for combining multiple inputs we can see there are 1, 2, 3, 3 different inputs we can combine the multiple inputs and we can use it. The output voltage expression is as shown aside which is here this is the output voltage expression right and it can be generalized to multiple inputs by adding more voltage sources to the inverting terminal. If I keep on adding this I can keep on adding until a particular voltage which is called V n right n times then you can add n number of input signals to the summer. This is the role of a summing amplifier. In, in, in short the summing amplifier is used to sum the signal sum the input voltages and it also depends on the feedback register you see there is a feedback register that means it is not just summer it is not just summing your input voltage, but it is also amplifying it right. That is why we do not only say it is a summing it we also call it summing amplifier. All right. So, this is the uh, use of the uh, operational amplifier as in summer. So, uh, let us see in an experiment how we can uh, use this summer and how we can see the changes, how we can uh, understand uh, when we apply input signal how the output signal would be 
uh, obtained using the oscilloscope. So, for performing the summing amplifier or performing the summing operation right we, we, we have taken here an example of two voltages right there we have seen uh, in the in the last slide three voltages here we have taken example of two voltages. Now, we have a uh, uh, gain you see gain uh, both volt both resistance are same 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm gain will be uh, about 2.2 kilo ohms right because it is R f by R 1 hmm, around 2.2 kilo ohms. Now, you have voltage here V out equals to formula is very easy minus R f right and here is I 1 I 2 I 1 is V 1 by R 1 I 2 is V 2 by R 2. So, V out equals to minus R f in the bracket V 1 plus R 1 plus V 2 by R 2 this is so simple right. So, what we have to do if you want to perform summing amplification we have to first connect the circuit as shown in figure right. Second is we apply 1 volt DC to V 1 2 volts V DC to V 2 means we have two signal we will apply 1 volts or 2 volts or 0.5 volts and 1 volt does not matter right. Uh, whatever signals we are applying uh, corresponding to that we have to add it and we have to amplify it be depending on the amplification factor that is how the summing amplifier would work. So, uh, observe the output and note down the value in the table. Table is here we have value V 1 voltage V 1 voltage V 2 output voltage formula is here which is your theoretical output. So, we calculate theoretical output theoretical output formula is same which is given here right V out equals to minus R f into V 1 by R 1 plus V 2 by R 2. Uh, we will see what is the actual output and that that will be the end of the understanding the summing amplifier. So, let us see how summing amplifier we can perform uh, this particular operation. Uh, if you see this circuit again uh, which is the breadboard here uh, on the table and uh, again uh, Suman is with us to help us. Uh, so, this is a breadboard right and we have the summing amplifier already connected somewhere here. So, if, if you can see uh, here right this is the summing amplifier this is the summing amplifier which is connected here all right. Uh, now, if I, I am I am yes this is better even. So, what we have seen we, we can see there are 3 register 1, 2 and 3 right 1, 2, 3, 3 registers are there and 1 register is a feedback register, 2 registers are the input registers and we are applying the signal to the individual input. So, let us uh, let us use the uh, let us give the signal 1 by 1 we can see here uh, the first signal the, uh, on the frequency generator we can see uh, the signal that is given is how much voltage about 0.5 volts. 0.5 volts is first signal to the summing amplifier all right. What is the second uh, uh, signal that we are giving? Second signal we are giving is 1 volt right. So, uh, and then what is the uh, uh, gain? Gain is about 2.2 volts gain is about 2.2 volts. So, now, we are applying 1 volts we are applying 0.5 volts frequency is constant 1 kilohertz phase is 0 degree right. Uh, then we what will be the output? Output will be 1 volts right plus 0.5 volts right into the gain. So, whatever the gain is. Hmm. So, uh, if we see the output output will be the sum of this plus amplification. So, uh, let us see the output in the oscilloscope. So, if we connect the oscilloscope to the output of the uh, summing amplifier let us see what is the output. Yeah. So, here if you see in the oscilloscope you will be able to see the output output is about 3.28 volts right. You can see yellow color peak to peak voltage can you please show here. So, it is easy 3.28 volts peak to peak right. So, that is because we have added 1, 1 volts plus 0.5 volts plus or oh, into the gain gain is about 2.2. So, uh, so so, yeah, so that is fine. Now, uh, uh, we can also see if you want to see the input and corresponding output. So, uh, the sum of the inputs and corresponding output that is also possible. So, if you see just what is the input voltage right. So, we will be able to see the input voltage what is the input voltage we can we can we can measure the input voltage using oscilloscope. Again when you focus the oscilloscope you will be able to see input voltage is about 0.5 volts that is from one one channel okay. And what is the input voltage to another uh, from the another channel that is through the function generator the another channel the input voltage is about 1 volts. So, we will see 
see input was about 1 volts. So, we have given 2 input voltages V 1 and V 2 to the summing amplifier 1 volt and 0.5 volt and the output we were able to see about 3.28 volts about 3.28 volts which you can see again here uh, around 3.28 volts and if you again focus you will see the same value 3.24 3.28 volts. That means that what is what is my calculation let us let us come on the screen uh, my input voltage V 1 was 0.5 V 2 was 1 volt V output was 3.24 volts here theoretical calculation all right theory V out equals to R f 2.2 2.2 into V 1 what is V 1 1 volt by R 1 1 plus V 2.5 by R 2 1 volts right. So, this will be what if I calculate this this will be 2.2 into 1 plus 0.5 or 1.5 or minus 2.2 into 1.5 volts is it correct. So, this will be close to your uh, 3.24 volts right this will be close to your point 3.24 volts you calculate this minus 2.2 into 1.5 volts and this is how you can calculate theoretically. So, this is theoretical way of measuring the output of the summing amplifier this is the actual way or practical way of measuring the output of the summing amplifier. Now, you guys now you know how to use a summing amplifier that means how to use operational amplifier as a summer right and so simple whatever input signals you are giving it will add it it will sum it right v1 v2 v1 plus v2 v1 v2 v3 v1 plus v2 plus v3 right but it is amplifier also that means it will amplify with the set gain that you have set that means that if your gain is about 2 volts or, or about 2 sorry it should not, never be volts ok uh, gain is about 2 then 2 into your sum of the input signal very easy right this is how you can operate uh, or you can use a uh, operation amplifier as a summing circuit. So, the same way uh, in the following modules uh, we will be looking at different application of the op amp like I said we will see how the integrator is we will see how the differentiator is we will see how subtractor is if you can sum it you can also subtract it is not it. So, uh, uh, I, I, I hope that uh, in this particular uh, module you are able to understand uh, how you can use operation amplifier if you have the minimum number of equipment uh, in your lab. Right. So, you just require a DC source you require a multimeter and, and it is very easy it is a cheap multimeter uh, it is not so costly that is what I mean when I say again this is all relative terms for, for one person it may be extremely costly for second person it can be super cheap. So, we can never say cheap or costly but the point is that most of the laboratories would have the multimeter most of the laboratories would have the function generator most of the laboratories would have DC power supply most of the laboratories would have oscilloscope right. So, it is it is easy if you cannot see the signal at the output in the oscilloscope you can measure the output using multimeter right the, your, your understanding does not really depend on you should have oscilloscope if you do not have it do not worry you have a multimeter right. So, with a minimum number of equipment that we have in front of us with a breadboard that we have right with a breadboard that we have correct then with a IC and few passive components which are resistors right with the IC and few components which are resistors and with some connectors you can always test different operational amplifier circuits right. So, this is the idea that is why I am pressing more on the experiments even it looks very simple when you really work on it you will find few of the uh, uh, things that you never expected that it will happen right. One thing that you have seen in earlier modules that we gave square wave and we were expecting a sine wave. So, you cannot get that right when you apply sine wave you will get sine wave again uh, you can convert the signal using ampli uh, again op amp. So, that is uh, uh, another uh, part where I will cover it that if you apply sine wave can you obtain a triangle wave or can you obtain a square wave or if you ap apply square wave can you change it to some other waves uh, waveform. So, you can do that you can do that that is not a problem, but the point is right now we were not uh, uh, working on the conversion we were working on the input signal and the output signal input signal and output signal waveform would be same only there will be change in the phase shift. So, one there was phase shift change of 0 degree uh, in non-invert 
inverting one it was phase shift of 180 degree inverting we have seen input voltage ranges and now we have seen the summing amplifier we have also seen the voltage follower or buffer or unity gain amplifier right so this is a uh, uh, this is the end for this particular module and i hope that i see you in the next uh, class uh, where i will be teaching more on the uh, another application of the operation amplifier and how to operate it all right you have a nice day and i'll see you in the next class bye